there's a big international conversation going on amongst the academics as to what constitutes ethical use of generative AI in scientific research. My position is that there is a useful way to make use of all this crazy amount of generative AI um, software that's becoming available. So today I want to talk about ChatGPT, Perplexity, AI, Elicit. Uh, yeah, that's probably enough for now. So basically what I'm going to show you is how I think you can undertake literature review and to identify literature using these technologies to support and to speed up your literature review. Let's get into it. Okay, ChatGBT, identify literature concerning ethical use of generative AI in scientific literature. It spat out a bunch of stuff, which is all very interesting, but it didn't actually tell me any literature that I can look at and read about. And therefore, while it's all very interesting, it's not really hitting the mark, the proverbial mark of where I want to go as a researcher and an academic. Therefore, I'm not going to spend a whole lot more time on ChatGPT. Let's go to Perplexity AI instead. And here, this one, I really like it because you don't have to log in first. Same question, identify literature concerning ethical use of generative AI in scientific research. And here you can see it's throwing up some relevant papers. And what's really cool about it is it tells you a summary of the stuff you need to know and it also links to the literature. See that, number one? There it is. There's the paper. There's number two. There's number three. We can click on it. Great. And it's taken me all the way straight through to the paper that I want to read to check is this actually what I'm into or not. I can have a proper read of that. It has a bunch of similar questions that you can just click on that and it's going to take you through to finding a whole bunch of other relevant literature. If I wanted to know more, um, say about that paper that we just looked at, I might just grab the title, copy that, go back to perplexity, excellent. And here you can see a nice short summary of the paper. Now this is really helpful if you are doing literature reviews and you want to, um, perhaps you've gotten to the point in your literature review where you've used a systematic approach to identifying through the databases using your search string, you've identified your research question, you've identified the articles that go with that and now you've whittled it down to the 23 papers that are included in your review, then you could put in each of these papers that are included in your review into perplexity and ask it to summarize the paper for you. And it does a very good job of doing that. So that can be quite a great way to shave down the amount of time necessary for you. You still must read the paper because all generative AI is subject to the occasional hallucination, there's deep fakes, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on out there and we need to maintain the integrity um, of academics in general and researchers in general by making sure that we actually read the paper and go and have a look at it and go, yes, that does summarise what what the paper's on about, um, but also I might be interested in a specific element within that paper, not the whole damn paper, so I want it to focus in on that. If they are arguing about the ethical principles developed for the military, perhaps I need it to expand on that. Great. Summarise the key findings about the military stuff, and there it does, and gives you another option with a much more focused lens on military. So, perplexity AI, very helpful. Now, if I'm not at that stage, perhaps I want to just do a bit of a rapid review of the literature and I haven't done the front end, which is all of that systematic um, finding and including and excluding literature. And I just want to do a rapid review and figure out what's out there on this topic that I just have no idea about and want to do some quick learning. Then I would reach for elicit.org. Just punch in the word elicit into Google and it'll come, that's the first thing that comes up, so that's nice and handy. Again, you can see I've put in the first same question as before into these other engines, identify literature concerning ethical use of generative AI in scientific research. And here it gives me a really nice 
short paragraph summary of the top four papers that it identified. How it figured out that these are the top four and not the middle four, God only knows. But in any case, it does give you a quick hit on where the conversation is at now. And then it goes down to those papers. So you can see Parikh and the others are listed here. And they've got the abstract summary for that paper. This is fantastic for orienting people to new areas of research where they don't already know um, where the conversation is at. So I think it's really helpful, particularly in the context of a rapid review. But I would use it cautiously for um, a narrative scoping or systematic review. This is really helpful. And what's helpful about it is that it goes you know, in different order, you can go for the most recent. I mean, most recent is not going to tell you much because everything's been published in the last two years, basically. Uh, see, 23, 23, 23. But you can see some of these already have multiple citations. This one's got 23 citations already, and it was only published last year, which suggests to me that it's hot. This is a hot topic, folks. Everybody wants to know how can we, how should we ethically use AI how should we be teaching our junior researchers to ethically use AI? Um, and that conversation is hot right now, folks. Okay, so those are the three. I think perplexity is really helpful. That's definitely my favorite for the moment. And um, certainly in the next little while, it will undoubtedly change. But at the moment, perplexity, I'm seeing a lot of opportunity for us to ethically use this to really speed up some of our processes, enable us to do comparisons between multiple papers and uh, support us in our critical appraisal. I don't think that we should hand over our critical appraisal entirely to generative AI just yet, especially because there is research arising around things like bias. Okay, thanks. Peace out.